Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm out for a ride on my trike, and this is called, I don't know, it's a trail at Choke Canyon. I can't remember the name of it, Hawk Trail or something. But I've got the uh, camera mounted on a handlebar mount. We'll see how that works. Just trying it out. I'll go a little slow. I don't have the external mic because I really wasn't planning on doing a video, but I thought I'd just see how this works. And uh, so we'll go down this trail. Uh, just a little bit better there. And I can't hardly see it from this side. Well, we're okay. It's, it's uh, But you can see how thick this brush is here uh, near Choke Canyon. This is typical South Texas uh, country. Thor everything's got thorns on it. I guarantee it does. And there's a lot of javelina in here. That's a hog. It's spelled J-A-V-E-L-I-N-A, -E like javelina, but it's pronounced javelina. Why? Because H's in Spanish are pronounced, or J's in, in Spanish are pronounced H with an H sound. So here we go over this mountain here. Nice day, probably about 40 degrees right now. A little wind out of the north, not much. I'm not sure where this trail goes. I'm gonna go down a little way and I'm gonna turn around. I can see dog tracks on the trail. Could be coyotes, but hard to tell the difference. So just enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm gonna do. There are a lot of RVs in the park and a lot of fishermen, but you don't see many people out walking. Uh, most of them are inside or doing whatever. And that's fine. Everybody's got to do what they do. Let's go down here a little further and see what's going on. Yeah, it does help to have a, a mount on the handlebars. I got both hands on the wheel now, so to speak. The trail gets a little narrow here, doesn't it? I was thinking this might take me down to the lake. Uh, there, a girl said there was a bird down here that was interesting to see. Yeah, I'm going to turn around up here. It's getting a little rough. But I can turn around right here because I can. It's really not hard to turn this thing around. Now we won't be going into the sun so much. But good to be back on the trike again, my electric trike. It really comes in handy for a, a little break in the action during the day just to get out on the electric trike and take a ride. This is an, a, a Liberty Electric Trike from electrictrikes.com. Yeah, just type in Google search for Liberty Electric Trike and if you decide to buy you one, uh, use Rusty 50. It'll save you 50 bucks at checkout. Rusty 50. Yeah, they're pretty neat. I mean, uh, I've been riding it for about, I don't know, probably 30 minutes and it's still, the battery's still full. You can go a long ways. I don't know how far, probably close to 15, 20 miles, I guess. Depends on the terrain, if it's uphill, downhill, or what, or if you're into the wind and all that stuff. But it is nice to get out in this old week. A lot of the trees here are called Weesack and Mesquite.
Yeah, I've been thinking about really, uh, even though I live full time in an RV and have done so for 25 years, about 20, 25, I don't know, a long time. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, I pay $4,000 a year rent in Lano at the city RV park, and I'll only be there, uh, I'm, I, I would say six months a year, because I'll be gone a month now, maybe more on this little trip, and then I'll be taking trips off and on in uh, March, April, May, and then in the summer I'll go somewhere where it's cooler for a couple of months or three or four months. And so I'm thinking about, yeah, just uh, putting that $4,000 towards travel and just stay on the road. Can I do that? Sure. How would I get my mail? i uh, get it to Kingsland Post Office box. I don't get that much mail. And I've got that, my mailbox set up so that I get the notices when mail is delivered so I can see who it's from. And if something was really important, I could call them, I know them and uh, they we could probably get work get something overnighted or something to me if it was very important so i don't see that as the mail is an issue and uh, there's no reason for me to be anywhere man i mean he, i'm here uh, now and that's good I, i'm at home wherever i am you know and i've just gotten so addicted to the i guess you'd say the freedom of the work wor road that's kind of an overused term maybe is it freedom of the road? Yeah, I, I suppose. It depends on how you define freedom. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. But I'm just thinking out loud here, riding down this old path in the middle of nowhere. Good time to think. Without interruption. I do like my Class C. I'm very pleased. I think it's uh, structurally, I think, I think it's as well built as any RV I've ever had, uh, including the Casita. No, it's fine. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it doesn't have wood anywhere. It's all aluminum on the side and the roof, and it's got styrofoam for insulation, which is the cheapest thing they can find, but fortunately the cheapest thing they can find is damn good insulation. And so I don't have any problem heating and cooling it. When I'm driving down the highway, I can heat it at 25 degree temperature outside. Inside, it's just very comfortable from the, the uh, heater on the, the chassis or the truck or the cab or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, living out here on the road, would it make any difference? Actually, I think I'd enjoy it. I, you know, at the RV park, you know, uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's true, I think. Familiarity breeds contempt, and it does. In other words, when I first arrived at that RV park, it, and it's still nice, I'm not saying anything negative about the RV park because it's very nice, it's a small place, pretty, got a lot of amenities that I like and appreciate. But, you know, people, all, everyone, including myself, has their little idiosyncrasies, okay? We all have them. And, and sometimes if you're around people long enough, those little things can start to grate on you a little bit. And out here, uh, traveling like this, you're never in one spot long enough for those things to become an issue. You know, and if you want to, if there's a dog barking in an RV next to you, you can just leave, you know, or move to another site. And uh, in an RV park, you can't do that. You might be able to if they have sites available, but uh, that's questionable if they would want you to do that. So again, just thinking out loud here, taking a nice, enjoyable trike ride. Let's see what the name of this trail is, I'll tell you. The one across the, the road here is called Dove, Dove Place, and this one is called Hawk Alley. That's the one I would, let's go up here. Oops, I just hit the camera on me. Let's just straight it out here. Let's see if I can get it straightened up a little bit more here. Is that better, Worcester? Might be too much sky there, but we'll go there. Anyway, I've got my rear view mirror set up so I can see who's behind me before they run over me. I can see who's going to run over me, I'll say that. Maybe a little wind in the mic now, because we're speeded up to six miles an hour. I get up here to the stop sign, I'll end the video. This is more of a test, and 
and more of me just thinking out loud because I, believe me you guys help uh, some of you just leave negative comments not not many but a few people leave negative comments just because they're not too sharp and uh, but most of you leave comments that are helpful and useful and uh, and I appreciate that you know every now and then we get somebody that just doesn't have any manners and that's life you know there's the dump station straight ahead I'll drive by there and check it out because I'll have to go by there when I leave out of here yeah the fresh or excuse me the gray water tank on the uh, class C I think it holds 37 gallons and I'll be able to make a week easily on that. Just want to check and be sure they got a hose if they do. So here we are at the dump station in Choke, Can Choke Canyon State Park in Texas, a real exciting place to hang out. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, end this video and uh, you enjoy your life. Anyway, thumbs up, guys. There's a thumb right there. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny if you want food with it. Drink plenty of water. Keep your health. And then uh, get out and do what you want to do. You know, do what makes you happy. That's all that matters, guys. So anyway, enjoy. Bye-bye.